Last Thursday, the Minister of Finance was asked yet again if he sold his shares in Morneau Chappelle on November 30th, 2015. And here's what he said. I do not know on what exact date those shares were sold. He's also said in the House that he gave the transaction records to a journalist. How is it possible that a journalist knows the date on which he sold the shares, but he doesn't? The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary. United, he's always been clear that he did sell shares when he came to office in November uh, 2015. And I wonder what, what is he alleging? What's the story there, Mr. Speaker? If he would have read the newspapers this weekend, Mr. Speaker, in the National Post, he would have read, Tories can stop blowing smoke because there's nothing suspicious about the minister's share sell-off. That was in the National Post. I know the member enjoys reading rebel media. He should broaden his horizons. Thank you. <laughs> Order. The Honourable Member for Carleton. Actually, I enjoy reading the transaction ledgers that show on which date what <laughs> shares were sold. And there's where I found that the Minister appears to have sold his shares on November 30th, 2015. His father sold shares at roughly the same time. They both sold millions of dollars just before the Minister introduced tax measures on the floor of the House of Commons. The Minister said there's no coordination in this matter between him and his father. Did they use the same stock brokerage firm? Yes or no? Honourable Parliament, the Secretary of the Ministry of Finance. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Let me quote something else, uh, something else I read recently in the papers, the Financial Post this time. The attacks on Morneau's ethics, on the Minister's ethics, are beginning to look unethical in and of themselves. That's precisely what the Member is doing. It's beginning to look disgraceful to see the Tories engaged again and again in a smear campaign and focusing on everything that doesn't really matter to Canadians, because what Canadians care about are the jobs that we've created, 600,000 in the last few years, the fastest growth in the G7, and the Minister has always worked with the Ethics Commissioner, will always work with the Ethics Commissioner. Thank you.